We're really pleased to announce our Jork exploration target over the Novalis Unius project. It's defining a range of 16 and a half million tons to 34 million tons with a range of zinc grades between 6.3% zinc and 9.1% zinc, followed by a range of 1.1% lead uh, to 1.8% lead. So what this does is it indicates a mid to large scale deposit with high grade and that's classic of an MBT style deposit. So the exploration target covers both the San Jose mine where Veriskan has executed two underground drilling campaigns for approximately 4,000 meters and also the Buena Aura exploration license where Veriskan has reported extensive uh, geophysical anomalies, geochemistry uh, re results and is currently executing a drilling and exploration program. All of the work that we have done has been supplemented by a large database of historical information which Veriskan has put together since his project acquisition. So this exploration target is the synthesis and culmination of all the exploration work that the company has done since acquisition and represents a major milestone for the company going forward. So the publication of the exploration target indicates the scale and high grade nature of the, of, the, of the project. And that delivers a major milestone of our strategy, which is one, to um, evaluate restart opportunities at the San Jose mine, and two, to seek to define a significant mineral resource over the wider license areas. Strategy now is taking that forward to pursue um, both of those objectives, but particularly objective one. So we will progress with the evaluation of early production scenarios. And while the Jork is, uh, exploration target is significant and achievable, the next step for Veriskin will be to produce a smaller but higher confidence mineral resource estimate on and around the San Jose mine. Together with a mine restart concept and scoping study, which will evaluate the potential economics of a restart of the mine. So our next steps and priorities are to focus on the delivery of a smaller, higher confidence category mineral resource estimate for San Jose. And that enables us to produce a mine restart and scoping study on the San Jose mine and evaluation of the economics for that restart. That is supplemented by our ongoing underground and surface drilling campaigns over the Buena Aura license area. I think it's important to understand why we are looking at evaluating production scenarios at San Jose. For a start, past production is an indication of future potential. And because of the legacy of past production at San Jose, we have a number of inherent advantages over other projects which would normally put out an exploration target of this nature. For a start, the infrastructure is in place, power, roads and um, significant mine development has all been completed. This significantly reduces the likely capex requirement for production to start. Our mining license has already been granted and therefore the project is likely to be permissible at a community level and also permittable at an authority's level. Cash flow would enable sustainable funding of the exploration development of our larger resource over the Buena Aura license area. And to be clear, we are seeking value, not volume. We've already proved that metal can be extracted from the, the host rock at San Jose. We have the processing flow sheets. And we also know that the grades from past production are consistent with the grades that we are reporting in the Jork exploration target. So layer on the fact that we still have reasonably robust zinc prices despite a sell-off from all-time highs these prices still represent a two to three times premium to the price when the mine was operational and also the nearby world-class Rio Sin uh, mine was operational. So what we're seeing is we have all the characteristics required to robustly evaluate restarting the mine as San Jose.